Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. Today I'm going to show you infographic tree design in PowerPoint. So let's start. Go to new slide, insert tab, select shapes and select triangle. And I'm going to make the triangle maybe okay right now what you have to do is right mouse click and say edit points okay select the point which is here you can see three points here one two and three so select this point which is the left side and you can see this small uh, kind of a uh, square here just drag the square towards the left side all right and again go here as well and drag it to the left side and this one right side also you can just make it drag it like this select the bottom one and drag it. so you can see uh, uh, this part is uh, ready now you can just give some different colors I'm going to uh, make uh, no outline here right now I'm going to draw the the branches here to draw the branches I'm just going to uh, select the object and press ctrl D and reduce the size all right okay and then while holding the alt key use the right arrow key so that to rotate this one I'm just going to put it here I'm going to make one more press ctrl D and bring it here you can reduce the size if you want all right and again press ctrl D we'll make this side again alt okay and I'm just going to rotate this one format rotate I can just say flip vertical and all right I'm just going to place this one here okay and press ctrl D again one more and we'll keep somewhere here and reduce the size okay so uh, tree and the, the branches are ready now now it's time to draw the leaves I'll reduce the size of the branches a little bit maybe this is okay and I'll place it here this one also here all right now I'm going to change the color I'm going to give uh, a green color here format shape fill I'll just say a green color here or this green and this one I'm going to give some dark green for the branches I'll just select all the branches and give the green color and I will just say select all at one and send to back all right if you want you can give some shadow effects here uh, but anyway I'm not going to do that one now now let's draw the leaf go to insert shapes select a oval shape and draw the oval shape here okay right now this is not the leaf shape right to make it uh, the oval into a leaf shape right mouse click go and say edit points and select this the top point first can you see this again two points with the square and just drag towards the here inside can you see you can see you can see the shape now again right mouse click edit points again select the bottom point and drag it inside okay okay right can you see the shape is almost ready now I'm going to give some no outline and uh, just increase the size if you want right and again using the alt and the right arrow key you can rotate the leaf and you can just 
bring it here all right if you want to give some good effect good colors right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to say fill and i'm giving a gradient fill i'm going to remove all these points two stops only the one stop i'm just going to give say some pink color or something like that okay and this one again i'm selecting color more colors and give some light pink maybe all right yeah you can see the difference if you want you can just increase the dark pink here all right so you can see the one leaf is ready now it's you don't need to create again uh, uh, oval shape and all those things just press ctrl d and reduce the size and change the color i'm just reducing the size maybe this one is like this all right and i'm going to give some different color here say i'm going to give some uh, like this color uh, orange and say something like this okay and i'm going to create one more small leaf here again press somewhat like this reduce the size put it here and i'm going to increase the transparency can you see here all right if you want you can just give some a uh, different color to this one all right now similarly uh, we'll create uh, some more uh, leaves and give some different colors again using the alt key uh, and the right more right arrow key you can just change the position or rotate the leaves again i'm going to give some different color here a dark blue and then a light blue kind of thing okay this is the other way around you can just change it all right so similarly you can just draw all the leaves here with the different colors now i have added all the remaining leaves here uh, and have changed the uh, colors now you can just uh, put some icons here i have just i have got some icons here if you have you can uh, get it or you can download from the website called the noun project okay and i'm just going to place the icons here right and if you see i have used the uh, the white icons here so what you can do to use the white icons just select the objects uh, the icons uh, under the format go to picture and in the brightness actually you cannot do it all you can have to do one by one you have to just go to picture and just uh, the brightness make it 100 percent the same thing make all 100 percent the iron is you cannot do for all you have to do it one by one that's the problem or you can use some uh, picture color and you can change it but anyway so this is uh, uh, our uh, full uh, tree is ready now with branches with leaves and with the, uh, the icons here uh, lots of disturbance outside so you can see lots of uh, unwanted noises uh, anyway uh, i'm just going to select all all right and i'm just going to move the tree a little bit towards the left side and i'm just going to add the points here point one two three four whatever you want to give some uh, uh, some titles there i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d and reduce the size okay and again press ctrl d this will be the second point So I want to make it four points. I'm just selecting this one. All right. And I'm just going to change the color for this one. Format Painter, select this. Again, for this blue, Format Painter, blue color. And for this one, all right. And you can just add the text here. Text box, type your title here. and I'm just going to use the font Oswald if you want you can just give the same color of uh, this one 
all right so i can just uh, make maybe a pink color something like that so i just go and select some maybe a pink color all right so similarly we will add the titles for the rest of the uh, the points okay i have added all the text here and you can just uh, insert the icons uh, in this particular leaves okay uh, you can add some more uh, uh, shapes here for example go to shapes i'm just selecting uh, this shape all right i'm just increasing this one and you can just change the color and you can just put some uh, different effects uh, into this one all right now i'm just going to change the background color uh, for that one i'm going to shapes select the rectangle cover the whole slide and uh, go to uh, picture fill and file i'm just going to select abstract blur and make it more transparent and send to back all right so this way and i'm going to just give some more effect here go to insert shapes select a rectangle again and I'm going to make as no outline and this will be a gradient fill I'm going to fill this one with uh, a gray color and this one which will be a, a white color say and I'm just going to change the, the size but okay and thread this one and make it transparency to 100% if you want you can just increase further and just say send back or I can just say send to back and again select this one say send to back all right so if you want all right and give the title here uh, whatever the title you like to give you can have your title here okay so this is how uh, uh, the infographic tree looks like if you see my one which I have created you can see the small animation I have uh, used so that's it from me friends hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel OSVFX see you soon with more interesting stuff till then good